Hello YouTube, Drone Die here with a review and fly video of the Sharper Image DX4. Overall pretty awesome drone for under a hundred bucks. It's got the auto hover. You can stream video to your phone. There's the adjustable camera. This drone has a 800 milliamp hour battery inside here. You just take that screw and you ever had to replace it. Charge time is about two hours with this drone. Flight time is about nine minutes. The auto hover on this drone works really well. Bump pads pretty thick. If you're at a pretty decent height and you do auto land, it will go. F Sometimes it will come down to about five feet and then just drop. So it's good they have some nice thick pads on it. The only thing I wish that this drone had was a built-in micro SD slot. The only way for you to capture photos or video with this drone is to have a smartphone and connect to it with Wi-Fi. Then you can stream the video through there. Here's the controller. Works pretty well. Good range. I really like where you can, you have three different pitch rates, auto takeoff. Shoots at about four feet and it will hover there and you can just move up or down and it will hold its altitude really well. Turn this on for you. To sync it up, forward, backwards, and it is in sync. And One issue with this drone, if you crash it, it takes a while for it to actually cut the power to the motors. You can hold down. It just takes a very long time. You can scratch up the props. I just wish they had a kind of a kill, kill switch, kill button that would just stop the power to the motors to prevent causing more damage after you crash or run into something and accelerate. You can increase the drone's elevation pretty quick. When you're decreasing your altitude, pulling down, it takes probably a little longer than it should for it to actually come all the way down and cut power to the motors. And then the auto orientation will beep at you every six seconds. It's kind of a nuisance hearing that every six seconds. Turn that off. All right, I just want to show you live streaming here. Get both turned on, synced up. On your phone, you go to Wi Fi. Settings. Oh, auto connected. Nice. And the app is 360 flight. Stream. There you go. There's your first person view. And then you can flip the image if you have your phone upside down. You can take a picture, you can record, and then here's your photos and your videos, and they're all saved onto your phone. I'll do some flying around for you guys. Press up once, get the engines rolling, warm them up, Pick it up again. It hovers pretty well. Uh -huh. Down. And you can do auto takeoff.
and have auto land. That's pretty well. And that's pitch rate one. Low. Medium. A little bit quicker there. High pitch rate. It, it takes a second for it to lean in there. Well, a good pitch to it. You have red on the back, white on the front. I do a stunt for you. <laughs> so, hit the ceiling a little bit there. Let's try it again. So, I don't recommend uh, flipping this one inside. Now, after a wreck like that, you always want to take both joysticks and out and down that resets the gyro so hopefully it still flies all right like i was saying once you crash it it takes a couple seconds for you for it to actually be able to stop the motor from turning which can cause some prop damage Still seems to be flying all right. Hovers real nice. I have had an incident where I was flying outside and it randomly just lost connection probably 50 feet away and just free fell to the ground, synced it up back up and everything was working all right. All right, overall, great drone. Only issues I have with it, it takes too long for it to stop the motors from spinning the props. You know, you lose connection to your controller and it's still drifting on there for probably only five seconds, but it feels like 20 seconds when it's drifting towards your TV. Other than that, great hover, great battery life, good design. Also, I'd notice outside the LEDs on this drone are real dim. You get up to a certain height and you don't know which way is forward or which way is backwards. That can be a little disorienting. I love that you can stream it to your phone, see what you're getting a picture of or filming. Well, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one. Late.